What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another general message for the Collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So what's up, fam? How's everybody doing? <laughs> um, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in collective energy. Anything you don't see coming. Any updates or progress on your current situations. The usual. Um, I just want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you beautiful souls that is watching me right now. Listening to my voice right now. Um, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being here on planet Earth. And shining that beautiful light of yours. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into the cards. I have, uh, I'm going to use the iCav Tarot. I'm going to use the Kipper Ish. I'm going to use the Panther as well. Uh, just to get some details, see what's going on. We're going to do a little mess deck. We're going to do some Oracle. I'm going to do a prayer, the usual. Um, I was going to say something, I forgot. Um, Bye bye bad vibe. There's a few available. Uh, it'll be restocked like fully. I'm doing like a big restock. Be about 40 jars. Um, I got a couple things that I'm working on that I'm really excited about. Um, some things I want to offer to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'll just, you know, leave it at that. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. I pre shuffled. We're going to start with the iCap Tarot. Let's go. Present moment. The star. Judgment reverse. Ten of Wands reverse came out behind that. Ten of Wands reverse, judgment reverse. Hmm. So current moment, there is somebody, I feel like there's somebody getting what they want. <clears throat> somebody is getting wish fulfillment. Or this could be a star energy, a star seed, um, releasing a lot of burden, releasing some some type of stress. Maybe a weight is being lifted off of somebody's shoulders. That's what it feels like. Judgment reverse. I mean, I know everybody gets judged, like, but uh, maybe somebody's not facing negative judgment. Uh, media challenge. Well, let me pull from the star. What's the star? Star. Obsessed reverse. I gotta pull another one. King of Wands. Present moment, there could be somebody. This is a masculine energy. King of Wands, upright. This is somebody that is a natural born leader. Uh, Aries energy could be any sign. Uh, this is a go getter. You know, this is a boss. Uh, fire energy. Uh, somebody that is, uh, they, you know, they naturally take the lead. This is somebody who is uh, ambitious, driven, attractive. So we, there's a masculine energy here that's not obsessed or they're super obsessed. They're either not obsessed or super obsessed with a star energy or getting what they want, getting wish fulfillment. Uh, immediate challenge. Page of Pentacles reverse. Six of Cups reverse. Hmm. So immediate challenge. This could be somebody that is currently receiving financial bad news. It could have got a message about some something about money that's not favorable for them. Six of Cups reverse. It could be something related to, you know, something they've done in the past. Six of Cups reverse. This talks about the past. Uh, nostalgia, memories, and reverse. It's like, it could be negative memories, bad memories. It could be uh, something negative that happened in the past. Maybe somebody can't return to the past. Somebody cannot go back. Maybe because they were noncommittal. Somebody was disloyal, noncommittal. They can't return to the past. This person could be obsessed with the star energy. Uh, distant past. Five of Pentacles. I wanted to jump 
out so bad. Justice reverse. So distant past, there was there's an energy here that was an energy of lack. You know, somebody could have been in poverty. Uh, Five of Pentacles. This talks about being without, being without money, without resources. Um, somebody was broke, and this was unfair. Maybe somebody, you know what I get? Somebody was broke, or somebody didn't have money. This could have been you collective. Could have been you know, or somebody in your energy. Uh, they were without money, and this wasn't. This was unfair. I get the energy of like you should have had some money. There's no reason you should have been at the Five of Pentacles because you actually did have money somewhere. Uh, justice reverse. There was something done unfairly or illegally to have somebody in the Five of Pentacles. What's this justice reverse? Five of Pentacles. Justice reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. Trash box. Trash box, this is my card for Ronald McDonald. You know, it's, it's a clown. Man or woman, this is a clown. A bozo. Um, typically an opportunist. Somebody that wears many masks. You know, red nose, makeup, you know, the, the rainbow wig, whatever the case. It's a clown. So there was somebody. And this just ace of swords this confirms it for me because i was sitting here and i'm going back and forth in my mind like okay is this accurate am i getting this right yes i am um somebody ronald mcdonald you know a clown in the distant past was somehow involved in having you at the five of pentacles a lot of you, you could have lost a job that's relevant for somebody you lost a job you lost a job you were down on finances you didn't have money it was a struggle in the distant past there was some some clown ronald mcdonald you know uh that was responsible for this creating this injustice nine of swords reverse they didn't have any bad feelings about it this is somebody who potentially screwed you over in one way shape or form for money left you down bad and they did not care that they left you down bad Nine of Swords reversed. They were not there. There was no stress. They weren't stressed out about it. I'm sure, you were at the Five of Pentacles. You were very stressed. This clown was not stressed. This person was not stressed, not worried at all about creating an injustice, doing something unfair, maybe even illegal. Uh, recent past. Eight of Pentacles reverse can talk about a job loss um no work you know eight of pentacles is work labor efforts uh self-mastery it could be reverse this is no work. somebody could have lost a job or lost income three of pentacles which talks about a collaboration teamwork Several people working together with a common goal. Um, there could have, oh my gosh, and I hate, okay. I'm just going to give it to you how I'm getting it. There could have been a collaboration to get you fired from a job. Eight of Pentacles reversed, three of Pentacles. There were, you know, maybe three clowns. It could have been the circus. The circus was in town, and they all decided to work together to get somebody fired, have somebody lose a job, a title, a position. Fucking clowns. Clowns. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. Yeah. These are people that work together. They wanted you at a stalemate. Gosh, this is resonating. I, I too was one of those, you know, in 2022, 2021, lost a great job, an amazing job. Because some fucking weirdos, the, the fucking circus decided to work together. Um, if you went through that, I'm so sorry, beloved. On the bigger and better, baby. Upward and onward, boo. <laughs> but yeah there was a, a collaboration to have somebody stuck have somebody without money have somebody without a job to have you at a stalemate where you could not move forward fucking weirdos what else ace of cups reverse they want to block your love life too block your prospects in love block a relationship like, who has the time? They are so miserable. Ooh, just so miserable. Worried about little low you. It don't make... Oh, goodness. Six of Swords. 
I feel like you moved forward. Yeah, recent past, yo, you moved right on along. Like I said, onward and upward. You hopped in your little boat, you rode on out of there. Good job, boo. <laughs> there could have been a situation that was unrequited love. Maybe you were dealing with somebody and, you know, they didn't give as much as you gave. You know what I'm saying? You could have invested time, money, energy. And, you know, somebody did not give that. They were too busy plotting on you, you know, plotting on your downfall to, you know, reciprocate. I feel like this is a situation you moved on from. Six of Swords. Now somebody want to come. They want to come back around and love bomb you. I didn't mean it. I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. I really do love you. I don't know why I left. <laughs> uh, best outcome possible outcome. Passion. Uh, with the Icap Tarot, I did have a card that said Lusty. It was like lustful energy. I replace it with passion, which can it, it could be sexual energy, passionate energy, lustful. In reverse, it's definitely lustful. Uh, upright, it's like uh, you know, just like sexual energy, passion. You know, uh, the strong desire for something or someone. Uh, this could be sexual desire as well. Somebody got well, what's going on here? Passion? What? The world. <laughs> Best outcome possible outcome. What somebody have passion for you? There could be <laughs> somebody you close a cycle with has passion for you. That they're passionate about you. They want a fresh start. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Baby, every time I flip this up, it's another ace. Because we just had the ace of swords. Yeah. Somebody wants a fresh start. They want a passionate. Yeah, that's what it is. They want a passionate new beginning. Where's the ace? Oh Lord. I don't know what I did with that. Well. Yeah, they want a passion new. This is somebody you close a cycle with. Or maybe somebody is closing a cycle and wanting a passion new beginning of some sort. They want to start over. What is this? The passion. I, Knight of Cups reverse. I just said, what's that passion? Passion upright. Knight of Cups reverse. Somebody want to come in and love bomb, lay it on thick. Maybe somebody who didn't express the love that they supposedly have. When they needed to, now they do. When they, <laughs> I feel like it's somebody you close the cycle with. What's the world? The hair font reverse. This could be a dark spiritualist, or this could be the end of like a high level commitment, a divorce, a marriage, uh, the end of a marriage. Somebody could, somebody could be closing a cycle. Best outcome, you know, this person would close the cycle. You know, divorce. The Crypt's Keeper and the Keebler Elf that they married. And uh, I guess what? Come towards you. I know a lot of y'all don't want nothing to do with... <laughs> y'all don't want Nathan nothing to do. You don't want nothing to do with Nathaniel over here. Uh, immediate, <laughs> immediate future. <laughs> Two of Swords. Intuitive Care Reverse. Oh, no. <laughs> um, immediate future, there is somebody who's going to be, I feel, indecisive about something. They don't know what to do. I don't know. King of Swords reverse. Libra energy, air energy, could be any sign. This is typically a liar and a narcissist. Uh, you know, if they're not a, nar a narc, they're very narc-ish. Very narc-like. <laughs> Uh, this is not, this is somebody who, you know, has a hard time telling the truth. So immediate future, I feel like this person's going to be at a stalemate, you know, indecisive, more swords, you know, indecisive, a Libra energy, you know, and uh, no, no shade, no tea, no shade to my, my Libra fam. You know, I love y'all. Uh, but you know, y'all can be a little bit indecisive sometimes pool, you know, um, this pro, okay. So let me get this right. This, this, see, and this, this is the this, this shit that just like, you know, irritate me. Oh, uh, okay. Immediate future. This King of Swords reverse. This is somebody who's unsure of which way to go. Indecisive. They don't know what to do or how they should do it, but they're not listening to their intuition. Intuitive care reverse. It's like, well, I'm not really sure what I should do, but you know what? That little voice in the back of my head and all these signs and synchronicities I keep seeing, I'm just going to ignore them. I don't understand. What else? What else, fool? 
Club Media Future. What else? What else? We can give me something else. Five of Swords Reverse. The Empress. What's up, boo? Hi, love. How you doing? <laughs> So yeah, somebody's indecisive. Media future, they don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, and I'm not listening to that little voice in my head. Um, there was some lies, some deception. There was a whole bunch of shit that was going on behind your back, beloved. This has been coming out. Whole bunch of you know snake shit was going. The circus, remember the circus was in town. Yeah, they was doing a bunch of shit behind your back. It's come out, right? This person was involved. That might not be for everybody, but this person was involved. And that's why they're indecisive. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to come towards you and what they should say and how they should approach you. Because the thing is, everything's come out. All of those lies, all of that deception, all of that bibbity bop that these fucking weirdos want to do behind your back, right? It's come out. So how do they approach? I don't, well, I don't know what I should do. Oh, oh, oh. They turn to Scooby-Doo. Oh, you know, um... Yeah, this is somebody who's... I mean, do we really care? I mean, seriously, do we care? It come out for a reason, though. Uh, I don't think a lot of y'all really... Empress, baby, my love. You're not real. I don't really feel like you a whole lot worried about this Joker. This is Joker worried about... They playing catch-up. You know? when you're, You are light years away by now. You know? Um, but, baby, yeah, it's something... You know, one of them creatures, they, they focus on you, love. Uh, this person doesn't know how to approach you, how to come towards you, because uh, they've been exposed. All of them lies you was telling. What else? Ace of Wands again. Somebody want a fresh start. Well, I know I lied on you and I cheated on you and I, I ruined your reputation and I tried to ruin your business and you know I haven't been that great of a father. But uh, like what the fuck? I would love a fresh start. I would love it. another opportunity to stab you in the back. Like, what the fuck? If you don't get your... The most high. Baby. This is coming out on top of Empress. Uh, I made this to represent... Sorry, that was my phone. I'm, <laughs> I made this to represent God or the divine. Also, a uh, divine intervention. You know, maybe, yeah, they was doing a bunch of shit behind your back to try to delay you, right? That came out. Uh, the Most High said, uh, not this one, Joker. Not this one. Um, I really feel like there could have been divine intervention. Or in the immediate future, there's going to be divine intervention. Maybe in order to give somebody a fresh start, a new start. Baby, I don't know. We go keep it rolling. We go work our way back around. I don't know, man. I've said it before. I'm, I'm going to need God himself. I'm going to need Jesus to appear and say to me, Kevin, go on ahead and work with that past person. <laughs> Otherwise, get your it, man. Mm -mm. I couldn't do it. Uh, factors affecting the situation. Queen of Cups. What's up, boo? Queen of Cups, baby. Uh, man or woman, this is, you know, like I said, America's sweetheart. A pillar of strength, inspirational, invigorating, delightful. We love you. I love you. Uh, man or woman, this is, you know, this is a great person. You know, quality, you definitely quality person. Uh, Queen of Cups, what's up, boo? Secrets reverse. Why did I see Victoria's Secret? I don't know. <laughs> it was random. <laughs> Uh, Queen of Cups, the secret's out. Baby. Victoria ain't got no secret. It's out, baby. Uh, I know. Is this your secrets? You got a secret that then came out? Did something get leaked? Or you didn't, have you uncovered somebody's secrets? Uh, Queen of Cups is highly intuitive. Maybe you didn't uncover. What is it? Eight of Swords Reverse. Queen of Cups, not trapped. <laughs> yeah, you, you ain't scratching your brain, your head about shit. You know what's up. Uh, what's the secret? I cannot make it up. Up in the clouds reverse. I just said you ain't scratching your head about shit. You are not confused. I feel like you have a very clear understanding of what the hell happened. What's going on? Secrets reverse. Somebody's secrets are out. They ain't key. They ain't not hiding shit from you. They might have thought they were. 
What's up? What's up? The hangman reverse. Which talks about enlightenment. See, he has a halo of illumination. You might have been stuck on this for a while. Maybe you couldn't put two and two together. But my baby learned how to add. My baby learned how to add. You put two and two together. I feel like there's a situation in which you're not confused. Like, you know exactly what the hell's going on. You probably know all the players involved. You know exactly how miserable they are. And, yeah, I feel like uh, whatever this situation is, it's something you're not stuck. It's going to talk about a mental prison. Like, you're not stuck in your head about this shit. You're not going back and forth. You know what's what. You know who's who. Uh, outside influences. Seven of Swords Reverse. It's a whole lot of lies being exposed. Whole lot of truths being revealed around here. Praise God. It's about time. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's been exposed for all the lies they've been telling, all of the cheating they were doing, all of the stealing they might have been doing. Now they want to balance something out. I really want to balance this shit out. Karma whooping my ass. I sure could use a friend. Yeah, somebody, I feel like, you know, man, no matter how long you've been going through this, I feel like, you know, it's finally come full circle for a lot of you. And yeah, everything is being shown for what it is. Uh, hopes and fears. Legal issues. Temperance. You know, I started to say somebody is fearful of legal issues and then it quickly, like, you know, in, uh, I felt, you know, it's uh, more that somebody is hopeful that you have legal issues, that you have some type of legal, legal issue or something. They could have been trying to get you in a legal issue, you know, take what resonates, leave what does not and, and apply the rules where they fit. I feel like this is the fear. Temperance. Earth angel energy. You know, somebody emotionally balanced, well-rounded, uh, patient, angelic. This is a fear. Somebody's care uh, fearful of you being you, <laughs> being emotionally balanced, keeping your shit together while they're falling apart. I don't I feel like that's a fear. Uh, final outcome. The emperor reverse. Can't stand up straight. Just cannot stand up straight. No backbone. King of Pentacles. These could be the same energy. Could be the same energy. Could be different energies. Uh, uh, the Emperor. Ten of Swords. On top of the emperor, reverse. Divine guidance came out on top of that. For um, with the with the ten of swords. Ace of swords. The moon reverse. So there's somebody. This could be a father figure, a distorted father figure, a distorted DM. You know, a really shitty boss. Uh, this person's facing a painful permanent ending. Final outcome. And I feel like they're being divinely guided. Maybe they're being divinely guided to do something. To say something. To end something. Uh, there's a King of Pentacles upright energy. Taurus energy could be any sign. This person has gained truth and clarity. This is somebody else. We still got the King of Swords at the bottom. This is somebody else. I don't know... This is a new person, your past person. This is the energy you're in. I don't know. There's going to be truth and clarity. There's a King of Pentacles upright energy that is has full truth and clarity about a situation. Because the moon reversed. What was hidden has been revealed. No more secrets. Nothing hidden. Somebody has full truth and clarity now. I want to keep pulling on that, but we'll work. We'll work back around. We will work back around. Okay, this next pass, I want to go with the panther. See what we got that comes out of there. Present moment. Alliance reverse. 
trust honest compatibility reverse promise reverse responsible confirmation assurance reverse so present moment i feel like there is not an alliance you know between you and another person maybe this king of wands here that's either super obsessed or not i would, I would say obsessed not somebody obsessed with you beloved i mean you're a star we had the star come out you're a star you know there <laughs> somebody's obsessed baby your energy is like crack uh alliance reverse promise reverse i feel like there's not an alliance you don't trust somebody you're incompatible with somebody maybe because they're irresponsible promise reverse they broke a promise can't keep the word can't tell the truth they're irresponsible uh, media challenge stress reverse headache pressure lack of sleep reverse media challenge is that you're not stressed about it. i feel like there's a you there's no alliance with somebody because they're untrustworthy you're not stressed about it she is like okay well i couldn't trust you got you out of my circle what is there to stress about <laughs> you're not stressing P period i cannot make this up calm <laughs> Look at it. You're not stressing about shit. Inner peace, simplicity, meditation. Go on here, boo. Like I said, you somewhere chilling. You're not stressed about this shit. This other person stressed about not not having an alliance with you. They chose up and they chose wrong. They were back in the wrong horse. And you know what? You win some, you lose some. Shit. <laughs> Just is what it is. I mean, shit. They lost one. They lost the big one. You know, lost the big fish, baby. If they lost you. Uh, distant pass. I just did I just say loss? You win some, you lose some. Loss, <laughs> bereavement, sorrow, damage. I just said loss. Family reverse, bond, home, background reverse. You experience some type of loss. That feels really heavy. Distant past, you might have experienced some type of loss. You know, there was some, like I said, I feel like there was somebody that could have betrayed you for financial gain. They could have committed an injustice, did something illegal. Ronald McDonald, remember Ronald? Ronald McDonald from the Play Place? Yeah, this person betrayed you. Did something either unfair or illegal, both. And they might have done they might have done this with your family or their family, karmic family. But just coming off of this loss right here, and like I said, they didn't care about nine of swords reverse. They weren't stressed about it, didn't really care. Like, oh later loser. You know, uh, but I feel like this. It was a major loss for you. There could have been a lot of damage done. Maybe you were in deep sorrow. Bereavement. You know, maybe feeling like somebody died. It was really heavy. Uh, recent past. Disturbance reverse. Obscure. Irritation. Supernatural reverse. I feel like there was an unrequited love situation that you moved forward from. And maybe when you got away from this person, like the weird ships, the weird shit stopped happening. Sup super net. No, let it go. It's fine. Um, sorry. That's probably Amazon. Um, damn, I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, you could have moved away. There could have been an unrequited love situation. That you moved forward from. I feel like when you moved forward from that. You know Six of Swords. You moved forward from that. A lot of weird shit stopped happening. I don't know about y'all. But like man 21, 22. Even into like 2023. You know a lot of weird shit was happening. There was a lot of like supernatural weird shit happening. And you know as somebody who spent 34 years without faith. A non-believer. I didn't believe in magic. I didn't believe in you know. This energy manipulation stuff that is very real. I didn't really believe it. You know, I thought that that was something from a movie. And uh, a lot of you, uh, like I did, you know, a lot of you saw, you've learned 
firsthand that, uh, no, this shit's real. Very much real. Um, but I feel like when you cut somebody or you moved away from somebody, maybe some of this weird shit stopped happening. Disturbance reverse. Bully. Embarrassment. Gossip. Unwillingness. Ain't that about a... See, this is the shit that had me ready to crack a head for you, Pooh. Where, where they at? So you moved on from somebody, right? Moved on from a situation. And this old weak, punk ass, insecure ass, whoever it was, they decided to bully you. They wanted to gossip about you. They wanted to talk about you. Because their punk ass feelings was hurt. When they were a punk ass from the beginning. They were collaborating to fucking uh, get you fired. Have you without money? That's what I don't get about these these punk ass karmic distorted energies. Like get your fucking shit together. Do your healing. Like everybody else has to. Do your fucking healing. And stop coming for people that never sent for you. Or in the, you know, a lot of cases, somebody that loved you, that loved your karmic stupid ass. Like make it make sense. You move forward, you know. Maybe you were divinely guided. Maybe you just had common sense, beloved. And you got the hell away from the riffraff. You moved away from these clowns and they started talking about you. Wanted to bully you. Fuck up your reputation because their punk ass feelings were hurt. Right? Trash. Trash. Garbage. Baby. Uh, best outcome possible outcome. Memory. Reverse. Remembrance. Commemoration. Reunion. Reverse. I see it. Well, I mean, yeah. Even if this person does divorce, say they do in that high-level commitment that they have with the creature, you know. Say they do, you know, close a cycle, a karmic cycle that they've been in, and they move away from the Crypt's Keeper. Uh, there still might not be a reunion between you and this person. Why? Because maybe you have a lot of negative memories. You know? I know for a lot of you, uh, some of you have shared your story with me. And, you know, over the course of the last two years, I've shared mine as well um for a lot of you when you look at that past person or you think about that past person the the memories are not very fond it's not a whole lot of happiness and even if there was for some of you the negative far outshadows the positive so maybe there's not going to be a reunion it's like okay good for you closing your karmic cycle you know getting away from the you know ditching the bitch or whatever but yeah i'm good baby boo like yeah nice life bye bye farewell uh what's this night of cups reverse yeah compromise reverse agreement reconciliation consideration reverse so you have reunion reverse and you have reconciliation reversed somebody is not getting back with somebody else it's like yeah been there done that got the t-shirt kick rocks clown back to the circus you go take what resonates uh immediate future indulgence interaction joy friendliness this coming out on top of the most high or actually those are backwards most high was down here on top of ace of wands whoa wait a second blessing Okay, there's Indo. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Uh, fulfillment, well-being, enlightenment. And then interaction, joy, friendliness. I feel like this is part of your fresh start, damn it. And you deserve it. Immediate future. A lot of you are already in that new cycle. Some of you are stepping into that new cycle now. Some of you are about to. We are all on different uh, timelines here. Ace of Wands, that passionate new beginning that you have earned. Damn it, you've earned it. Uh blessing blessings it's full of blessings you've earned those too uh indulgence interaction joy friendliness maybe you're gonna be around people you know people that it feels good to be around i just heard create new memories period pool okay i'm serious okay but yeah, there's a uh, immediate future. There's a fresh start. I feel like there's going to be like positive people around. There's going to be some blessings, well-being. You know, th that's great. Well, I'll take that one. Uh, most high, the most high and empress. 
merit making reverse goodness hum humaneness morality reverse care reverse parenthood patron support reverse immediate future what's new i mean what's new somebody is actively i feel that there's somebody this could even be a parental because for the the panther oracle this is like the parent card uh care parenthood patron support you know there could be somebody that doesn't support you and this could be a parental take what resonates um this person has been doing a bunch of like weird shit a bunch of you know bad deeds behind the scenes and i feel like the most high is not having it because standing between merit making reverse like the bad deeds and all this corrupt shadowy shit that people are doing behind your back is the most high standing between the empress and the bad deeds is the most high like you're covered divinely guided divinely protected a lot of these bottom feeders these basement dwellers they think it's a game they think it's a joke divinely guided divinely protected most high got you so whatever this is in the immediate future where somebody's going to be stupid dumb enough to try you beloved they will fail <laughs> they will fail <laughs> baby it's like they, they like y'all like caught on yet definitely some low iq money they just baby uh where we at factors affecting the situation aid mercy charity kindness So, like, I feel like, like I said, I feel like for this whole session, you had Eight of Swords reverse, the Hangman reverse, Up in the Clouds reverse, Seekers reverse. Those four cards say not confused at all. Not confused, seeing things clearly. Uh, yeah, I see through the bullshit. Uh, Queen of Cups, you are my definitely highly intuitive, my love. Um, we had Commitment reverse, Binding, Obstruction, Contract reverse. Somebody that you're no longer committed to, somebody that you maybe no longer have a contract or a bond with, they're going to ask you for help. They need your help. Whether they ask you or not, somebody could really use your help. They need you. Uh, maybe somebody might want you to be merc uh, have mercy. They might want you to be kind. They want you to, you know, be charitable. Give to them. Somebody needs help. Uh, outside influences. Sweet dream. Satisfaction, comfortable, lazy day. This is what you wanted. This, I mean, is what you deserve. These lies, seven of swords reversed. The lies, the stealing, the cheating, all of this shit is being exposed. And, you know, this is, might give you a great deal of satisfaction. Things being balanced out, things being made fair. Uh, readiness, preparation, prompt, arrangement. Either you're ready, you're ready for the, for this to, you know, things to be balanced out, made fair, or somebody is ready to balance things out, make things fair. What's that readiness? Daydream reverse. Optimism, illusion, delirium. Somebody's feeling pessimistic. They're not feeling very positive about balancing something out, making something right. Somebody's not feeling too pessimistic or too optimistic about facing you. Looking you in the eye. What a... Uh, hopes and fears. Gift reverse. Souvenir, promotion, delight. Reverse. Gift reverse. Somebody could be uh, fearful of losing a gift. Not receiving a gift. Somebody could be hopeful that you lose a gift, that you don't receive a gift. <laughs> yeah, care reverse, parenthood, patron support. Somebody could be, you know, fearful that they're 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 they'll lose they're losing support. That people don't care anymore. You know, for a long time, you know. This was some, you know, these were was somebody or some people that like, you know, baited a lot of other energies into some bullshit, you know, by getting these people to care. 
about the bullshit, you know, about little old you just minding your business in a lot of cases. People don't care. They don't care. And I feel like that's a fear for this person or these people. Uh, final outcome. Saving, preservation, collection, meanness. That's on top of divine guidance. Oh, this resonates. Or right, maybe some of you have been guided to save your money. Kind of, you know, keep some, keep something back. Yeah, I've been getting it too. You know, stack your little coin, save you. You know, put some stuff back. Uh, what else? Curse, hate, catastrophe, misfortune. Well, that went left. <laughs> Um, man, maybe somebody has to save. Maybe you're being guided to save or preserve. You know, God forbid, you know, that this ever would happen. But, you know, uh, it says hate, catastrophe or misfortune. And what's sticking out to me is some type of misfortune. This could be somebody else in your energy. Let me save. Schedule reverse management plan organize. Maybe somebody's not organized. They don't have a schedule. They're not planning. Maybe for the future. Or this is just one side. Yeah. Somebody's being guided to save. Maybe you should start saving your money. If you're not. Uh, you know. Putting something back. If you are disorganized or you don't have a plan. Why is this hitting? Why is it hitting for me? Like, even, like, say you don't have, like, a 10-year plan. Or you don't have, like, you know, start to, like, formulate those type of things. Your five-year plan, your 10-year plan. You know, get you some savings. You could be being divinely guided to do this. Okay, uh, next, over here, we have... There's a King of Pentacles that has gained truth and clarity about maybe a curse. Or some type of hate. Some type of misfortune. What's that? Illness reverse, disease, weakness, fragility, somebody could have, this could have been something that was sent out, somebody could have tried to hurt, curse you, hex you, because they have hate, you know, they carry hate in their heart, uh, they wanted a catastrophe for you, they wanted misfortune for you, they could have wanted you sick, somebody wanted you ill, in bad health, final outcome, that's reverse. So what I get, yeah, they hateful, miserable asses tried to project this bullshit towards you, collective. Return to sender. Seats taken. Return to sender tenfold. And may it sit with your miserable ass. With love and light. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> shit. Man, stop sending this shit towards the collective. Damn it. Before we whoop your ass. Oh, uh, okay. Um, this next pass, I want to go with the Kipper-ish. See, keep it ish. Present moment. Voodoo. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Voodoo. Goodness. Just always got to manipulate some shit. Damn. They always got to manipulate some shit. If y'all don't sit your tight asses down. Yeah, next. Moving on. Shit. Good riddance. <laughs> So present moment, there's somebody moving on from some voodoo. Maybe somebody was doing voodoo and they just like, okay, fuck it. I'm tired of getting my ass whooped by karma. You know what? I give up. I'm, you know what? When it comes to the voodoo, mm -mm, y'all do y'all do them rituals by y'all self. I'm tired of getting my ass whooped. Somebody could be moving on from the voodoo. Six six. Uh, a immediate challenge. Real love. Yeah, they don't want to do voodoo on you no more. They in love. I love you. I told you I'm in love with you. I don't know what happened. Maybe that love spill backfired. Somebody got real love for you. That's another six. One and five. One and five make six. Five and one make six. Six and zero make... Oh, God. Six, six, six. Six and zero make six. Oh, Lord. Yeah, somebody got real love, so they don't want to do voodoo on you no more. Man, I didn't see this. They want a commitment. I love you. I want to get married. Let's get married and make a lot of babies. <laughs> Man. Uh, okay. uh, distant pass. Pathway. 
Yeah, this was you. Where somebody betrayed you, had you at the Five of Pentacles. Uh, you were in deep sorrow in the distant past. You know, there was some damage done. Could have felt alone. And then you got on your pathway. Baby, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Saved me. I don't know. Uh, What else? Flying monkey in concern. Okay, so whoever this clown was. Ronald McDonald, remember him? Yeah, that worked with your karmic family to create some type of injustice for you. They were a flying monkey. They helped the ops, right? Now they're worried about this shit. Concern upright. Oh, I'm worried. Oh, 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 I know I stabbed you in the back and I know uh, we did all that black magic on you. We know it's coming back because you just fine. So somebody might be worried about something now and they're concerned. What they concerned about? What they worried about? Being unhappy? Bliss reverse? Yeah, this is a family revert. Man, cut it out. Uh, I'm not going to play. Family from the uh, Panther Oracle came out reverse. And then family from the Kipper Ish came out reverse. Karmic ass family. And guess what came out with those two? Legal. And we had justice reverse. Somebody in trouble. Some people in trouble. Something got caught. Something got caught or something was. Something got caught or documented or something. Yeah, they're, they fucked up. Somebody done fucked up. Your karmic family done fucked up. They're all unhappy. And somebody's concerned because uh, they helped. They, doc yeah, they documented some false shit too or something. Yeah, that ass is grass. Thief to steal something from you. Trifling asses. Uh, recent past. Priest reverse. Period. Because this is like a dark spiritualist. Masculine energy. Like a dark high priest. Yeah, yeah. Dark warlock or wizard. Or whatever you want to call it. Disturbance reverse. Like I said, you moved away from somebody and maybe some weird shit stopped happening. You got away from this dark warlock, dark wizard, dark witch. And then, yeah, weird shit stopped happening. It was unrequited love anyway. This person was trying to get you fired from your job. Fuck them. <laughs> they wanted to bully you when you moved away from their karmic ass they wanted to bully you clowns yeah this is somebody who man tell me mm, yeah how about that like I said they want to put their yuck ass mouth on you talk shit about you right cause you decided to move away from their karmic ass right they spread lies bullied you spread lies false narrative false narrative came out reverse Whatever lies they was telling you, yeah, it's been exposed. You look like a liar. You look like a clown. You are. I mean, this person is definitely a clown. We had Ronald come out and uh, definitely a liar. False narrative reverse. Put your lying ass on. Shit. Lion King. What else? Was oh, did this person lie for money? Oh, Lord. Ah! Oh! With your karmic family. This motherfucker. Oh, excuse me. This is somebody could have went to court and lied on you. They went with your karmic family. This is somebody who used to date you or used to talk to you. They went to court with your trifling trash ass family. Excuse me. Um, and they lied on you in order to get money. Maybe some money that was yours. What they say you was crazy. Oh, well, collective crazy. They don't, you know, they not right in the, in the head. So they can't handle their financial affairs. Went to court, perjured themselves, and it's been exposed. It's a federal offense. It's a federal crime. <laughs> These motherfuckers stupid. They are just so, just so tired, so stupid. All that for money. Blood supposed to be thicker than water, right? They ain't shit. They are, like, seriously. Um... Uh, Best outcome, possible outcome. Karmic film. Of course, this winch. This winch would emerge from the crypt, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Y'all know I'm 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 gonna talk some shit. I'm gonna talk a fair amount of shit on these creatures. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, karmic film. What up? Confusion illusion. Now this person confused. Put a real good root on that joker. I can't believe. 
I can't believe he want. <laughs> I can't believe this Joker want the collective back. I put a real good. They confused. This bit or this person, this creature, this person is confused. Like I put a real good root on that Joker. As many love spells as I did. Mm -mm. This Joker supposed to want to compromise with me. Yeah, how about not, Wench? Crawl back into your hole. Go back into your burrow. Scur scurry along now. Uh, this person confused. What are they confused about? Karmic film. The abundance. Or maybe <laughs> I did so many finance blockages on the collective. How they still got money? Thought your little bibbity bop. Transition. This person confused as to how their abundance ended. They don't understand. I, they are not understanding how in the hell there's a death to their abundance. Like, what you mean I'm bankrupt? What you mean the house being foreclosed? Like, uh, <laughs> be careful what you wish for. They should have been careful what they was wishing for. This person's confused. They really don't get it. Maybe that what the bullshit worked on everybody else, huh? It worked on everybody else. I don't know. It's Jezebel that got released. Little Jezzy, little working girl. Sam and Samantha of the sidewalk gang. Sam and Sally. Uh immediate future. Immediate future. Somebody's getting a message about your divinity. Somebody finally got the message. They said, Oh, I'll be I'll be damned. Collective really is an earth angel. Who knew? <laughs> but I cannot. I can't make it up. High Priestess. What's up, boo? What's up, love? You find divine intuitive thing, baby. Somebody got a message and they cannot believe. I didn't. Like, seriously. Like, I get, like, you know, clutching pearls. Like, <laughs> spitting out their coffee. Like, somebody cannot believe. I cannot believe that that is a divine being. That we ganged up, all 50 of us ganged up on that earth angel. I cannot believe that is a divine being. Well, you better believe it, motherfucker. <laughs> Tell him, collector, you better believe it, Joker. That's what somebody really, they are in shock. Like, what? That's a high priestess? Since when they come out that fine? That's what they <laughs> Baby, what else you got? Rising Star Reverse. Yeah, whoever this whoever this is in the immediate future that's gonna be trying to do something. I think we had karmic family come, or it was something. I felt like it was a, par a parental card. That care card came out over there. Yeah, whoever this is that's gonna be trying to do some shady shit to throw a wrench in your operation, something that you're protected from, Empress, the Most High got you. Uh, yeah, they're whatever they're doing to decrease you, they're only going to decrease themselves, diminish their own light, diminish their own finances. Diminish their own gifts because they're really stupid, really petty. What else? Surprise reverse. Are they expecting this shit? It's like, oh, I, I know this is going to backfire on me tenfold, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm like, what the fuck? I want to. I cannot make it up. <laughs> Karma reverse. Whatever the hell they're going to do in the immediate future, it is going to backfire. I, I feel instantly. Instantly. And they don't even care. Surprise reverse. Yeah. <laughs> no surprise. Like, they've been getting they've been getting that ass whooped by karma. And why? Why they've been getting their ass whooped so hard by karma, collective? Why? Because this is who they decided to come for. This is who they wanted to come for. The circus. Wanted to come for, for you. Just wasn't smart, man. Just wasn't smart. Like, we're... These are more 2 plus 2 equals 7 ass. Then, like, they're just stupid. Just dumb. Um, Factors affecting the situation. Mentally and emotionally unstable. <laughs> Sorry. Endings reverse. Baby, it's somebody toe up. They are toe. Somebody is toe up because you see them for exactly who they are. 
and they did not want this to end. I really didn't want this to end. I can't believe you see me for the clown that I am. Divine, uh, I'm sorry, uh, outside influences. Divine masculine. It's in the upright too, boo. Relationship? Came out on the fence. Came out on the fence. So it could go either way. Divine masculine and relationship. Is there a divine masculine somewhere that is ending a relationship? Like they're currently like in between? Like they haven't quite broke free, but they're like on their way? Uh, what is this? Courthouse. Somebody going through a divorce? Is it not final yet? Yeah. Somebody could be going through a divorce. Ending something. Divorce ain't final yet or whatever. They're ending this relationship that they were in. Uh, and they're thinking about love. Probably thinking about their divine feminine. Um, was a, a child not theirs? Somebody could have had a baby and the baby, yeah, they told this DM that the baby was theirs and it's not theirs. Child reverse. That's not for everybody. Take what resonates. Yeah, this person that found out that the child ain't theirs, they out of there. Like, shit, oh, 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 that's how we doing it? For real, that's what we do? I guess so. Uh, hopes and fears. <laughs> hopes and fears. Destruction. I mean, safe to say somebody's fearful of this. A big old tower moment. You know, everything just crashing and burning. Healer reverse. Is somebody fearful of losing a healer? Or is somebody hopeful? Are they hopeful that a healer somehow gets distorted or falls off? They would. They would hope for some shit like that. Oh, I hope that that uh, that wonderful, beautiful person, that gifted person that heals others. I hope they have a you know a fall from grace. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, creature? <laughs> what the fuck? Final outcome. <laughs> Chakras reverse. Ugh. Love offer. Oh God. Find an outcome. Somebody coming in real imbalanced, baby. They coming in disheveled, or no? They go. They go have it wrapped in a nice little package. It's go. They go look together. But I feel like somebody want to come in and make a love offer, but they are not. They are faking the funk. Shockers reverse. Mm -mm. It's distorted energy. They want to come in and make you some type of offer. Wearing that mask. Take that mask off and let us see. What's on? <laughs> Let us see what type of creature you really are. We haven't. We ain't even determined your species yet. Take that mask off. Somebody coming in to make a love offer, but they still pretending. Like, oh, come on now. Come on now. Earth angel, yeah, they coming for you, pool. <laughs> they coming for you. Fly, fly away. <laughs> Run. <laughs> They coming for you, Pooh. They don't want to be blocked. There's somebody who do not want to be blocked no more. Unblock my number. That's right. <laughs> I just heard it too. Unblock my number. I've been trying to get a hold. <laughs> I've been trying to get a hold of you. Unblock my number. I'm tired of doing all this fighting and carrying on. Unblock me. <laughs> what, <the fuck? laughs> Ooh, what else? What else, Spirit? Goodness. See, obsession reverse. This is that King of Wands. Because we had obsessed reverse for uh under that person too. Somebody could be super they super obsessed with you. Somebody's in love, baby. They are in <laughs> How many love spells did they do? I mean, what y'all what is there not to love? Beloved, I mean what is there not to love about you, baby boo? Like is it? What is there not to love? Earth angel? Priestess? The empress? Like, what is there not to love? This person is in love, baby. Just let them be in love and not crazy. We don't want one of them in your If I can't hear you, can't nobody. Ain't nobody. <laughs> ain't nobody go ahead. Oh, Lord. Get away from that one. Yeah, somebody, uh, they want to make you a love offer. They don't want to be blocked. They're tired of being blocked.
Is that it? Emotional pain reverse? Yeah, maybe you've healed from some emotional pain. Earth Angel, that's temperance energy. You know, you are emotionally balanced. You've done some healing. And somebody don't like that? How dare you heal? How come I get... <laughs> It's so ridiculous. That's why it's funny to me. How dare you heal? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean I can't attach to your energy no more? How dare you heal? It's like, sir, ma'am, you don't get the fuck on. Community? Occupation. So if somebody doesn't like that you've healed, you're not in emotional pain. Somebody doesn't like that maybe you have a new job, a new title, a new position. There's a community of people that are watching like this whole thing. I feel like, you know, if these people wasn't involved in the rah-rah and the bullshit, then they've been, I don't know who, there's some type of group that's been watching this whole thing unravel. Who is this community? What's, what's this community? Who is this community? Who are they? What do they want? What do they do? A community and the ancestors. I feel like, man, you got that anointing on you. You protected. You got your people with you. Mature man. This came out on the fence. Who is that? Death magic. But you know, before these came out, I, just, I had just said, you got that anointing on you. You got people that got your back, I feel like. And um, ancestors upright. Standing in between you and um, this mature man that might be doing some type of death magic. They want to end something for you. Don't they know how that turns out? That shit goes back. People just not smart. They out here unprotected. Um, protection reverse. This is a soulmate of yours. Somebody that's out here unprotected. So you out here unprotected and you doing death magic on your soulmate. Gotta be slow. Short but show. They gotta be slow, baby. Got to be slow. Uh, let me read this deck real quick. Uh, bottom of this deck, we have the nine of wands reverse. Somebody could be giving up on something. Yeah, somebody's giving up on something. Whatever attempts or mission they were on to discredit you or, you know, to what, what defeat you, yeah, it's over. Somebody has to give up. Nine of Wands reverse. They have to give up because you've won. Six of Wands, beloved. You are the winner. She's Miss United States. <laughs> Man, you have won. This King of Cups reverse, yeah, they're a, this emotional manipulator. It's over. I can crawl over, slither away now. This person feels rejected. This could have been your twin flame. Dumb, dumb. They just dumb. This was your twin flame. Somebody that you could have had a beautiful union with. You know, maybe somebody you was supposed to. Maybe somebody you've been with in past lives. They feel rejected. They rejected themselves. And like I said, this person out here, yes, unprotected. Seven of Wands reverse. Your soulmate out here, unprotected. Whatever protection they had, they didn't lost, they didn't fucked around and lost it. This person's in deep emotional pain. Because this person's been, they were doing black magic to, I feel, negatively affect your manifestations. Confirmation. I don't know if y'all can hear that. They were doing uh, black magic to negatively affect your, your manifestations, what you had coming in. That did nothing but decrease them. That instead of ascending, they were descending. You were going to get your twin flame, dum dum. Yeah, they regret this shit. <laughs> Duh. Five of Cups, they regret this shit. They really wish they hadn't done this shit. This person could have been paid by somebody. Six of Pentacles, they were paid by somebody, or they paid somebody, or somebody got paid. Somebody gave somebody something. Queen and King of Swords reverse. These are two liars. Two liars. A pair of narcissists. 
Yeah, no matter the thing is, whatever they were paid to do, uh, the wheel is still in your favor, beloved. Whatever competition or conflict this was, it's over. It's done. Especially if this is pertaining to like karmic family. I don't know what it is about karmic family, baby, but they they were all up in the mix, beloved. All three of my family cards. From the Ikev Tarot, the Kipper Ish, and the Panther Oracle. Family, family, family. All reverse. It's a karmic ass, distorted ass, greedy ass family. There's some type of love contract that's over. Maybe you're not choosing somebody. Yeah, their ships are not coming in. But yeah, because they were a hidden hidden enemy. They were a hidden fucking enemy. And they think they get to join you at the finish line? Celebrate the victory with you? Like, fuck. Yeah, it's a big old tower. Big old tower. That ass is blocked. Goodbye. The sun reverse. A lack of expansion. A lack of growth. A lack of happiness. Why? Because innocence reversed. They were not innocent. They lied on you. Took impulsive action. If this, they, I, they could have been paid something. Somebody threw a few dollars at this person. They jumped at the opportunity to throw you up under the bus with lies. And you were loyal to this person. You were loyal to this person. You never would have did them like this. It's an emotional manipulator that you had to release. You had to cut them loose. I had to let them go. Because I feel like this was somebody that wasn't even like, they weren't thinking for themselves. They had like a group of people behind them that was like, you know, putting the key in their back. This person could be in bad health and I get a pull, a pull on mental. They're in bad health. They're sick because you're receiving good news while they are receiving bad karma. Because they did it. They were careless and reckless. This ain't got nothing to do with you, beloved. They were careless and reckless. They exposed themselves to you as a false person. You're getting wish fulfillment. And I feel like it's in the form of stability. Nine of Cups. Four of Pentacles. You're getting wish fulfillment. It's in the form of stability. And a twin flame. Maybe your real, your true twin. Somebody that would never throw you up under the bus like this. Somebody that would never betray you like this. Period. Pool, nine of pentacles, high priest. What's up, boo? Hi, love. Nine of pentacles, uh, high priestess. You could be a highly spiritual being. You know, maybe you, uh, you could be a reader. You could be a psychic, a medium. You could do energy work. Uh, hello. High priestess and nine of pentacles. You're independent, self-sufficient. Might own your own business. You go, girl. Or you go, boy. Get it, fam. Yeah, this was somebody who, they made a conscious decision to, to choose, you know, the what side they were on. They had choices. They, they had two wands, and you see the one they chose. Now this person's praying. They're praying and wanting to apologize to you. Because the bullshit that they were seeing was not real. They could be praying, talking to God now. You know, they want to say sorry. Seven of Cups reverse. The illusion that they were in, whatever they thought it was, they're seeing, okay, none of that was real. I've, I've been bamboozled. I've been hoodwinked. What you mean? <laughs> now they don't want a permanent ending. No, no, you can't. Mm -mm, you mastery in flame. Uh-uh. No, the fuck, you're, yeah, no, the fuck, you're not. <laughs> divine partner reverse. Get your weird man. They, I mean, they, it could be your twin flame. They're not your divine partner, though. You don't have to be with that twin flame. They karmic and toxic as hell. You do not have to be with that twin flame. You did your best, beloved. Let their asses watch. Let them do what they do best. Keep on watching from that karmic connection that they chose to be in. Let them watch. Let them talk. Let them gossip. And you just keep on winning, pool. There's something coming towards you. Something that's going to give you some type of forward movement. This is following like a discovery being made. Whoever this demented witch. Uh, it could have been a karmic witchy. Uh, one of the witchy sisters. But this is you know one of them from downstairs. Uh, Queen of Wands reverse. This is oftentimes a prostitute and or a witch. Uh, very lustful. Very manipulative. 
it's a punk still because they yeah they did they did they use magic for everything they ain't go, they're not going to confront you um is this person like i get like energy of like hiding out this is somebody like hiding their face they don't want to be seen because maybe they've been exposed for the lame bumish loser that they are somebody i get that though somebody could be hiding their face right now deciding to walk away from something yeah, this was an energetic vampire that, that was hating on you. Hater reverse, ten of pentacles reverse. They don't want to be a hater no more. Somebody don't want to be a hater no more because they're they're taking really big losses. Ten of pentacles reverses, the loss of a business, the loss of a lot of prosperity, the loss of a lot of money, the loss of an inheritance. So naturally, you know, taking losses like that, they don't want to be a hater anymore. Oh, no, I'll, mm -mm, I ain't going to, or, you know, even if it is a woman, you know, I ain't going to hate on you no more. Can we be friends, sis? Like, oh, man. Collector. Collector. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you guys some of the mess deck. Like I said, you know, same shit, different toilet, beloved. Same old shit, you know. Uh, let's see what we have come out of the mess deck for us. Give us messages for the collective spirit. Messages for the collective spirit. They didn't believe you when you warned them. Did you warn somebody? I mean, high priestess in her, a priest, priestess in the in the building. Uh, maybe you warned somebody. Tried to alert them. Hey, uh, dumbass, you on the wrong side, wrong side of the fence, buddy. They didn't want to listen. Anyone super successful had to overcome a great deal of opposition. They succeeded because of their ability to be resilient in the face of adversity. Period. Look what came out under that. Inheritance. Some of y'all are getting a man. You getting your just do your spiritual inheritance, your divine inheritance. You persevered in the face of adversity. You faced a lot of opposition. Beloved, I know who you faced a lot of opposition. A lot of you, I mean, it wasn't like you know you had backup. You know, you was in the trenches by yourself. And you pushed through. You've earned, like I say, everything coming to you, you've earned it. You have earned it, beloved. I cannot. Financial breakthrough. <laughs> you earned this shit, Pooh. What's up? My mess dick now has about at least a thousand cards. At least a thousand cards. Your first house could be uh, significant. Self, appearances, beginnings, the body, first impressions, identity, approach to life. This is who you are. Who you are is your first house. And people see you for who you are. Fuck the lies. Fuck the illusions. Fuck the bibbity bop that these weird ass basement dwellers like to do. We're, we're looking through illusions. Mask off. Death magic backfired in a major way. Multiple endings taking place. Then we have... <laughs> what the fuck is going to learn? They are going to fucking learn. They're going to learn. Like, seriously. If y'all don't get y'all shit... Might be too late to get their shit together. Shit. And I hate to be one of them. Like, oh, the world... I mean, shit. I'm, the world just might be a better place. I don't know. Hey. J, first, last, middle, initial. This person's a hoe. That Queen of Wands reverse. Leo energy could be any sign. I just saw the word. Oh, I'm not going to say that. Sexual excess. You know, somebody a hoe. Uh, your next level is about to. Your next level is about to have motherfuckers big mad. They switched up. Now they can't come with you. Big dot. Period. Big dot. You switch up on me. Keep your hating ass over there because you can't come back. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> they will continue to take losses until there's nothing left or until they speak the truth whichever comes first they will continue to take losses until there's nothing left to lose or until they speak the truth otherworldly starseed what's up fam Hoping that an apology will clear some of their karma. 
a karmic friend get your weird well i just wanted to say sorry for being karmic as hell and being a hating ass hoe and hating on you because you actually are a nice person i was just wanted to say sorry because karma been whooping my ass i know i ain't shit i mean you know that's a start it's a start you know you gotta commend <laughs> Y'all know I don't like to give a karmic no credit. None whatsoever. But I mean you gotta come in, you know, coming in and apologizing. That's that's a solid, you know. We get we give you a point or two for that. I mean, how many of them go actually do it though? Coward asses. STD, sexually transmitted demon. Mm mm. Stay away from this friend. <laughs> I don't know. Man. They blame you for all of their misfortunes. <laughs> they blame you for all of their misfortunes. It's collector fault. It's collector fault. I did all this damn black magic on them and it backfired. It's their fault that I'm going through all of this misfortune. You. S I don't even have to say it. I don't even have to say it. <laughs> stupid motherfucker. Just stupid. Just dumb. They want to blame you for everything going wrong in their fucking life. Right? Fucking trash. It's trash. Ugh. Garbage. Tired of it. <laughs> Leo. Big fucking Leo. <laughs> What's up, gang? Leo gang, baby. We in this thing. They blame me. Yeah, this is, sounds about right. They want to blame you for everything going on in their fucking life. Everything going wrong with them. They want to blame it on you. Yeah. Fuck them. Celebrate your progress. Every step forward is a triumph. Period. Think about all these monkeys. All these wild animals these rodents and serpents you had trying to hold you back every single step forward is a triumph celebrate every single step baby and keep on moving forward every blockage in your finances love life and your intuition is being returned tenfold so they want to play they want to play block your money block your love life block your intuition too like damn who the fuck they thought they was Paul, that's who they is. Paul. <laughs> um, it's not funny, but Paul. They don't have the courage to face you now. Yeah, it sounds like a weak ass. Beat it. Good. Don't face us. Don't face me. I want to see your face. <laughs> Treat them like they mama shoulda. I don't want to get out of my face. I don't want to see your face. All right, I'm going to take a few more of these. I don't know how long I've been going. Let's take those. Boom. Let's do it. Pull. Karmic female. You have stability now because you've moved away from the lack mentality and people who have it. Good job. Period. Like I say, people who just miserable and they want to just dwell in that miserable, you know, dwell in that energy and dwell in that toxicity and being pessimistic all the time. Get the hell away from those people. Because they are draining. They will drain your energy and then not do nothing productive with it. All right, so not only have you drained the collective, you I mean, all that good energy just wasted. Like, get the fuck, like, yeah. Get away from the collective. Shit. It's your miserable ass. Mad at you for speaking your truth the truth but you didn't expose them they expose themselves to all my fellow readers keep doing what you're doing beloved keep shining your light okay keep speaking your truth keep speaking the truth we don't care about them being mad they feel like you expose them then maybe they shouldn't have been a collective energy running amok how about that like shit person they bloodline playing the victim as their spell work or manipulation backfires on them <laughs> oh gas like nasses I just can't believe that all of this bad stuff is happening to me and uh, tell them about all the black magic you was doing so that they can have an understanding why all that bad shit is happening to you tell them tell the truth Tell the truth. Fucking liar. Tell the truth. Pathological liar. 
Set intentions and take the actionable steps towards your goals. Your success is destined, baby. Believe it. Have that faith. You know, faith is like a, a full circle. Like, have faith in God. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Have faith in your ability to manifest. And I, I don't know if it was Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's dad, who said it or where I heard it. But somebody told me a long, or I heard it a long time ago. 90% uh, of success is certainty. Meaning, like, if you are certain that you will be successful... You're going to be successful. You know? That's why a lot of these people, they play these mental games. They want to get in your head, you know, tear you down, make you think you're less than. So that way you don't, you know, you settle for less than. And baby, you was never that. The fuck? I didn't intend to hurt you, but it was cheaper. I, I didn't intend to hurt you, but it was cheaper to keep her. This old five and dime ass call Mickey. Yeah, she didn't want much. Four for four. She was happy with a four for four. Backfire, duh. <laughs> duh. Return to sender. Shit. Yeah, they wanted to send some shit to you. <laughs> ah, baby. They wanted to send some shit to a healer. Yeah, backfire. Stop coming for the collective. Why would you send some shit to. Knowing damn well you go heal. Collective, they know damn well you go heal. Stupid. Winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. Baby, period. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they better get some hobbies. Shit, find something else to do. Read a book. I got a new Oracle deck that I have not used yet. Which one? Oh, Seasons of the Witch. Every time they go on sale on Amazon, I get it. If it's more than like 40% off, I buy it. This one was on sale for like 45% off. Uh, Seasons of the Witch. It's an Oracle. Uh... Those of you who know me, you know, yeah, I'm not against witches. My whites and even my grays, I love y'all, y'all family. It's them dark ones, the basement dwellers that just dwell in, you know, negative energy and being miserable and, you know, creating hell for people who don't deserve it. I don't like them at all. But no, the rest of y'all, y'all good with me. You good with me, boo? Yeah, keep on doing your little white magic. Okay, uh, I'm going to pull one from uh, Seasons of the Witch to be yeah. Comes out for uh, so I'm just gonna reach in here and grab one pull. Breath work. Allow your breath to expand your spirit and fill your heart. Four could be significant. Breath work. What else we got? Let's do let's do one of the goddesses, gods, and guardians. I love this deck. Love it. It's a good one, spirit. Imhotep, visionary. I don't think I've ever read this one. Imhotep. Some of y'all might have Egyptian lineage. Oh, let's do Priestess of Light. She's staring at me. We're going to do Priestess of Light, too. That's a good one, Spirit. Go with the flow. Letting go, cleansing, receiving. 25 could be significant. All right, let's do it. Okay, uh, breath work from Seasons of the Witch. Breath work number four. Mm, okay. All right. Finding space, soul nourishment, freedom. Allow your breath to expand your spirit and fill your heart. Excuse me. Your higher self chose this card because you're in need of more space, expansiveness, and freedom in your life. Your body contains your soul. But your spirit is boundless and needs ample space to express itself in every way necessary for you to feel fulfilled. When you take in a breath, you're breathing the air that has at one point or another touched every surface of the earth. Every animal has felt this breath you're now taking in. Every ocean, sea, and river has held this air within its molecules and this air has fallen to the ground to nourish plants through the form of rain. You too are as limitless and expansive as the air you're breathing right now, yet you haven't given yourself the space to explore all of your desires. This card has come to you to encourage you to follow all intuitive pings that stir your soul. If you're interested in trying something new, such as a hobby or exploring a different place to live, then give yourself permission to wonder, what if? What could happen if you did 
what you, what made you happy versus what you're expected to do how might you experience more passion more fulfillment and even courage if your decisions were based on what brings you joy receiving this card is your invitation to ponder what could be you don't have to act on anything that doesn't feel like the right way forward instead think of this process as a trial period a chance to try something on okay a chance to try something on with the guarantee that it can be returned if it doesn't fit for now allow yourself to explore the possibilities and see where this leads breath work go for it that's what i gotta go for it go on girl speak a little german <laughs> uh go for it take the shot i mean what do you what have you got to lose you know um just like with the tarot thing you know i didn't man when i got into this two years ago i didn't know the first thing about nothing but i was guided into it i bought my first tarot deck and i taught myself while by what you know watching a lot of readers and i bought a few books as well um but i taught myself how to read and you know when it came to actually posting videos i was terrified mortified you know i think it's like that with anything you do you know any type of any at a job you know, you could be, you know, third shift at Wendy's or second shift at Wendy's. You know, in, in the beginning, it could be really intimidating. Like, oh, my gosh, all of these orders, what am I going to do? You know, um, go for it. You'll never know unless you try. You know, live your life for you. Who cares what they think? Who cares what people think? And if you do care, and I, I, I know I used to be there. If you do care what people think, work on that, beloved. Work on that because you don't need to care what everybody thinks. Some people, of course, you want to care what they think. The people who matter. But the riffraff, people who talking shit behind your back, karmic ass family, we don't care what they go for it. You want to do it? Do it. That's what I get. Okay, from uh God's goddess or goddesses, gods and guardians, we have Imhotep. Visionary. Visionary. Okay. Designing the future, f fusing of uh, fusing ancient wisdom with modern methods. Imhotep started a life as a commoner, but through his visionary genius became enormously influential in Egypt during the third dynasty. He was a high priest of Heliopolis, vizier to the kings and chief architect of King Dozier's Step Pyramid, which paved the way for the Great Pyramids. Known as the first physician, Imhotep was practicing medicine over 2,000 years before Hi Hipp Hippocrates was born. His legacy was so profound that after his death, he was elevated to a god of medicine and architecture. Without Imhotep, modern medicine might not be where it is today. When Imhotep appears, it's a clear indication of your visionary gifts. Your soul's intention is to create pioneering change through implementing divinely inspired ideas. There's no doubt that you've come to Earth to redesign infrastructures, stir up the pot of established protocols, and use innovative and progressive methods to evolve humanity. You're a visionary, guided by the divine to implement projects that can help, heal, and inspire our world. What do you want to improve or innovate? Maybe you're a teacher who's frustrated by the education system or a medical professional who'd love to combine modern medicine with holistic treatments. Perhaps your passion lies in environmentalism, politics, science, or fighting prejudice and, and injustice. If you're passionate about what needs to evolve, then you're the one who can make a difference. Imhotep is guiding you step by step. Take it one day at a time and break the big vision down into manageable chunks. You can be a trailblazer who fuses ancient wisdom and cutting edge technique. This is your time to change the world. Imhotep, visionary. Baby, like I say, man, if you got the spark, go for it. Or you mean, especially if you're being guided, like divinely guided, man. Like I say, go on, girl, speak a little German. You know, you, if you're being divinely guided to do something, baby. What are you doing? What are you? And you're not doing it. What are you doing? What you waiting for? Um, that was a good one. From Priestess of Light, we have go with the flow, letting go, cleansing, and receiving. Twenty-five. All right. 
This priestess of the waterfall rises from the foam, holding the mist of the water spirits close to her heart. She wears a golden spiral of infinity on her head headdress symbolizing the power of purification and the release of negativity when this card appears in your spread it announces a time of quiet energy encouraging you to release resistance and go with the flow true release requires a conscious intention to let go of control and embrace the cleansing energy of non-attachment it's time to step back and reevaluate things take a break from trying to force your will and open your heart to the guidance of the spirit flowing within and around you this doesn't mean you should take no action. It means your action should flow with your intuition. Water is an important element in your life experience. It brings clarity and understanding and represents the presence of spirit. You are a body of water, as is this blue planet of ours. On that level, you resonate with earth and every entity on it. So charge the water you drink with love and affirm spirit's presence in the rain in the shower, and in all the water around you. This cleansing intention purifies your energy and releases limitation and negativity. Such a clear and vibrant resonance then opens your life to the unlimited flow of abundance available to you. Let go and receive, for the river of endless opportunity is coming your way. Go with the flow. Letting go, cleansing, receiving. There's an affirmation here. I move comfortably through the experiences of my life. I release resistance and align myself with the joyous energy flowing freely through the world. Go with the flow. Oh, uh, what they, this is like real spill. Um, I started doing this very early in my journey. Um, I think it was another reader actually that said, you know, charge your water. Like when you grab a bottle of water, you know, set an intention for that water to charge you or to make you feel some type of way or, or I especially do this in the shower. Like they said, uh, you know, whether you're in the rain, the shower, um, a firm spirit's presence in the rain or in the shower and in all the water around you, you know, thank the water, you know, there's people out here hugging trees. You can thank the water, you know, for cleansing, you. <laughs> for cleansing you, cleansing your aura, clearing your chakras, baby. Try it. Give it a try. Uh, that was a good one, too. Um, let me get you guys a prayer. A little prayer. I'm going to pick one from Prayers That Route Demons and Break Curses by John Ecker. This is the first prayer book I ever purchased. Okay, this is where I open, so we're going to we're going to do it. Uh destroying yokes and removing burdens. Uh, I'm praying for everybody watching, all you beautiful souls, uh all of the collective, all you chosen ones, all you star seeds. What's up, fam? And myself. I remove all false burdens placed on me by people, leaders, or churches in the name of Jesus. I remove all heavy burdens placed on my life by the enemy in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing break the enemy's burden from off my neck and let every yoke be destroyed. Remove my shoulder from every burden. I cast my cares upon the Lord. I cast my burdens upon the Lord and he sustains me. Lord, break the yoke of the enemy's burden and break the staff and the rod of the oppressor as in the day of Midian. Let every yoke of poverty be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of sickness be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of bondage be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let every une unequal yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. I destroy every yoke and burden of religion and legalism on my life by religious leaders in the name of Jesus. Baby. Let every burdensome stone be released from my life in the name of Jesus. I take upon my life the yoke and burden of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That was it. Then we go into destroying the enemy's forces. Period. Destroying them forces. Uh, amen. Amen. I don't think I've ever done that one. Um. That's all I got, fam. That's all I got. Uh, I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some clarity, some confirmation. Maybe you could put two and two together. Um, if nothing else, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, collective energy is the best. I love each and every one of you. No matter if you've been rocking with me the last two years or if this is your first time watching me. Welcome.
Uh, I'm glad you're here. Um, to anybody who's donated to the channel, thank you so much. It's a really big help, and I love you. To anybody who would like to donate, the links will be in the description box of this video, um, as well as the link to Mystic Sense. I'm a partner with Mystic Sense. They are a company that offers skilled, talented, tried and true uh, tarot readers, uh, mediums, psychics. Um, I've used the service before. They offered me a lot of insight. Um, you get a discounted rate when you use my link. Also, in the description box is the link to my Etsy shop where you will find right now there's a few bracelets up. I just restocked Balance. I have Abundance. I restocked uh, the Evil Eye bracelet. That one's back. Um, it's a few bracelets. It's a few bracelets up. This is my Balance. It's Map Jasper, Labradorite, and Hematite. Um, the description is on the Etsy as well. Um, bye bye bad vibe, which is my energy cleansing salt bath. For those of you unaware, if I can get to it over here, I have an energy cleansing salt bath that I create. Uh, this is bye bye bad vibe. It has mugworts, or excuse me, Doctor Seals Epsom salt, sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, mugworts, angelica root, juniper bay leaf and i also add lavender essential oil uh months ago people were asking what i did for spiritual baths i did some research you know a long time ago and uh i you know concluded that these were really good herbs for banishing negative energies cleansing and purifying energy and this is what i've come up with so this is the one i use um and i wanted to make it available to you guys those of you who give me those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes. Thank you so much, fam. It's a really big help and I love you. Um, I want to send you guys an, um, an abundance of love, light, healing vibes, peace, protection, prosperity, success, faith, gratitude. Everything great. Everything wonderful. You're so worthy. You're so deserving. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for the collective. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.